All right, everyone. So yesterday's question poll uh, was, which Menard do you like best? Do you like the 23rd century uh, engineer slash captain? Do you like the mirror Menard slash phantom? Do you like the Kelvin Menard slash uh, Picard era Menard? Um, or do you like the 24th century uh, captain Menard? Um, so I don't think this was in necessarily a fair poll considering you guys haven't quite met um the picard era menard um because we haven't quite got there yet so i don't know if this was necessarily a fair poll but i put that in there just because you guys have met the kelvin universe menard uh yeah, briefly but you guys have um so i put that in there just in case and i don't believe and i don't i don't think that people have put together quite yet that the Kelvin Menard is the Picard era Menard. So, cause we haven't quite got there in the stories, but I put that in there just to see, you know, how much interest was in that. Um, so again, I don't know if it's necessarily fair or if the polls would reflect that, but I put that in there just to see, you know, what, what's everyone's thoughts. Um, so I, I think it'll be kind of interesting once we're done with the next 13 or so films, um, to come back to this poll and, and see what everyone's thoughts are um, once we we explore um, <laughs> that character and, and then see, hey, what, what was your guys' thoughts and, and where would you like to go from here? Because again, like a lot of these films are, you know, what do you guys want to see and, and what's my passion? And then kind of come to a, a nice medium. Um, so, okay, so the poll results were, uh, we had 28 votes all total. Uh, which for me, I think is great considering um, I don't do polls very often and it's something I kind of want to do more of just to kind of, you know, engage more with you guys and see what you guys think because I love, I love interaction. I don't care about having, you know, a million fans. I just care about, you know, interacting with you guys and, and seeing, you know, what you guys think because I, I think that's more fun. Um, you know, I, I believe in uh, quality of audience, not quantity of them. Um, so we had 28 votes, which I think is really good. Um, we had 10 likes, which, you know, uh, I I don't really know how that goes for polls. Um, so I'm going to say it's you know pretty good. Um, so with the poll results, we had 32%. Um, I actually, you know, hold up. We're going to go from lowest number to highest number. So we, we can see where we stood. Um, I think that'll be more fun. So in the lowest, we had Kelvin Universe slash Picard era Menard with 11%. Um, again, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't expect that one to be high simply because, you know, people don't really know Kelvin Menard that well. Um, <laughs> generally fans online are, are very hateful of uh you know new trek or jj stuff so i didn't expect that one to be high plus we haven't really explored that um that's something where i'm hoping that we can kind of flip some of the audience um uh, one of the things that people enjoy uh with my films is you know hey this feels more like trek well i'm hoping to kind of get some of the people to uh, feel that way with with my stories so with 11% we have Kelvin Universe slash Picard era. Coming in at 14% was 24th Century Captain Menard. So, which was really surprising to me. I was like, huh. But the way I feel about that is, um, it's not, um, it was kind of surprising, but not, not too shocking considering, like, I feel like we've explored as much as we really need to with that character. Um, maybe other people feel the same way. Um, I feel there's more stories to tell there, but not necessarily with, you know, with my character. Um, I feel kind of like we did with the, um, uh, with the, with the concert completed, you know, my character can be in the background. He can be a presence, but I don't feel like the focal point should necessarily be him. Um, so like maybe that number is reflective of that as well. So, um, that's something, um, you know, maybe that's where that's coming from. Um, so then coming in at 32% is, uh, 
is the 23rd century engineer slash captain. That to me was really surprising. I think at some point I may ask, which do you find more interesting, 23rd century engineer or 23rd century captain? Um, you know, because that, that's something to me is like, hmm, I wonder which one they preferred more. So at some future point I may ask <coughs> um, that, you know, just because it's, to me I'm like, hmm, I wonder which one they actually voted for. You know, because um, <clears throat> that that came in third. You know, that came in third for uh, this poll. Uh, so that that to me was was kind of kind of surprising. But to me, that that says that you know we're kind of on the right path. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we have George Cayen, we have Jose um, Cepeda, um, we have uh, David Chang with with uh, his Admiral Nakura. Um, hell, we even had you know Admiral Kirk. Um, so, you know, to me, I, I don't feel like that's necessarily uh, a Menard issue. I feel like that's, you know, a, what we use to surround Menard with. Not to mention, you know, we have a great 23rd century uh, concert crew and we're, we're starting to explore those issues um, with, with that. You know, plus we have Michael King, uh, you know, as Captain Bishop, you know, um, and we have the Valiant stuff, um, which I feel personally um, is, is largely unexplored. Um, and I'd, I'd, I'd personally love to see, you know, the engineer stuff, you know, go back, you know, throw back to those things. Sadly, you know, there, as we, as we get older, like there's a lot of gray in my beard, <laughs> you know, like, so I, I, I want to tell those stories before I get too old to, to play an engineer Menard realistically, because I've been doing this now for, for over seven years. Um, at, at some point, you know, I, I don't want to feel like I'm playing, you know, uh, engineer Menard with a full gray beard, you know, it's like, at some point it's like, nah, it's not realistic, you know? Um, so, um, but that was a 32%. So I, I found that, I found that really interesting. Um, uh, for me, I, I feel as if, you know, next gen films are, are more where things should be, but it's, it's, it feels like people are more yearning for classic Trek. Um, so I found that really interesting. So that was 32%. And 43% of the audience felt that they enjoyed um, Mirror Menard slash Phantom. Um, <laughs> I, I feel as if that's... <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the performance of Mirror Menard and Phantom. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if that's... Um, um, you know, from the stories that we were telling before or the current storyline that we're telling with you know, the Phantom being a presence of what we're doing with Constar Completed. Um, I, I will tell you, once we're done with these, uh, the 13 or so stories that we have coming up with Constar Completed, um, he is he is still an overall presence there um, because we are telling the story of, um, you know, kind of this, this cult of the Phantom and this kind of, you know, doomsday feeling that the Phantom is supposed to have brought on. I will tell you, once we are done with these set of films, um, that storyline will still continue into um, next year's set of films, um, which we're dubbing Constar Concludes. Um, so that that storyline will be wrapped up next year, like once we're able to go back to the sets and COVID is over with, um, and, and, and I'm not in dad mode, um, you know, because Mona's in school right now, so I, I need to focus on that. Um, but once that's done and we were able to, you know, everything kind of calms down, um, like that storyline will be wrapped up there. So there will be somewhat of a definite end to the Phantom storyline next year. Um, but it's, it's, it's pleasing to know that I haven't overstayed, you know, my welcome there because I, I do enjoy playing that character. So it's nice to see that you guys are enjoying it as much as I enjoy playing it. Plus, I think with every episode, like, it's not just like constant in your face, like, you know, 15, 30 minute episodes um, of constant phantom. Like I, I try not to do that. I try to put a little bit of, of, of the phantom in each episode. So it, it just kind of makes you want more. Um, and plus to see the effects of like what the phantom has done, you know, you, you kind of wait an episode, but you see the effects of what he's done. Um, I think that's also worked as well. Um, but those are, um, you know, those are things that I, I feel um, have worked with the storyline. Um, but it's nice to see that it's, it's worked for you guys, um, enough to vote 43%. So those are the, the results. Like I said, uh, Kelvin came, you know, Kelvin era, um, slash Picard era, um, came in at 11%. Um, like I said, I, I want to revisit that 
once we actually show the character um, 24th century cabinet came in at 14% um, which like I said I, th I feel we've kind of dealt everything we need to I feel like the story you know the, that era's captain had the beginning of taking captain C we had the end where he dies I feel like that chapter's closed um, other characters can do their thing but I feel like that character is you know we've, we've written the book with that guy um, so I kind of feel the same um, 23rd century engineer slash captain I'm, I'm curious to see like well which one do they prefer engineer or captain like hmm, which one do you guys want so that will be a poll at some time and then mirror uh, slash phantom uh, was 43% so to me I, I, I found the poll fun I found it enlightening um, thank you guys very much. Um, we do have another poll up right now. Um, so go visit the community tab on my YouTube. Um, the poll is, which Constar do you prefer? Do you prefer the blue warp nacelled NCC 1036? Um, or do you prefer the uh, next-gen refit Constar uh, 1036-1 or 1036-A? <laughs> um, so which Constar do you guys prefer? Um, that to me was, was, uh, something I was kind of wondering, like, you know, uh, you know, which Constar do you guys like? So, uh, head over to the community tab, uh, press the like button, uh, pick a, pick which one you guys like. And, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, like I said, hit the like button, um, support the channel, support your fan films and, uh, keep on geeking on guys. All right, bye.